So Florida gets a pretty bad rap. Everyone's seen it, Florida man this, Florida man that, but in reality, it's not as bad as everyone makes it seem. Until you hear stories <laughs> like this. You might remember our episode on the history of Chirac and how Rondo Number no. 9 shut down the whole city once the cops found out he was in possession of a rocket launcher. Which look, this is America. I understand that we have a couple spare RPGs laying around. That's how things work. But safe to say, they probably shouldn't qualify as street ready. Crazy thing is, he's not the last MC to flex that type of heavy artillery. Enter Lil Dell. Lil Dell is pretty fresh on the scene. He started building up a buzz in 2019, and the majority of his audience is in his home state. His videos on YouTube get about 100,000 views or so. Some may label him as still underground, but that does not mean that he's not a force to be reckoned with. Lil Dell was part of a neighborhood crew that called itself Bro Gang, mostly made up of Pensacola teens. They had beef with another crew in the area that went by Cash Gang. The beef started in about 2017 and led to a bunch of shootings throughout the years. Lil Dell's music career was starting to come to Together, in part because he was tapped in with another Pensacola rapper named Frozone. Frozone had a lot of love in the city and was also affiliated with Bro Gang. Dell and Frozone collabed on a bunch of tracks and even put out a mixtape together. Lil Dell's most popular song, Run It, had Frozone as a feature and is by far his biggest hit, racking in over 600,000 views on YouTube. Frozone clearly had a lot going for him, but all of this was cut short in 2020 when two men approached him in an alleyway and shot him multiple times. The tension between Bro Gang and Cash Gang really hit its highest point in May of 2019. Bro Gang got the drop that Cash Gang was posted up at a spot called Platinum Nightclub. The whole Bro Gang decided to ride out to Platinum, hoping to catch him lagging. And that's when it hit the fan. Bro Gang pulled up to Platinum and let off 44 shots into the club. During all the shooting, an innocent, unaffiliated woman named Elizabeth Harris was hit with a stray bullet and later died at the hospital. After shooting up Platinum, Bro Gang piled into the cars and drove off. Cops quickly swarmed the club and pieced together what happened. Since Bro Gang and Cash Gang have been publicly at war for years, the police knew exactly who was responsible. They rounded up three suspects, all of them teenagers who were affiliated with Bro Gang, and charged them for being involved in the shooting. One of the suspects snitched, claiming that Lil Dell was not only involved in the shooting, but that he pulled out a rocket launcher during the chaos. When the Pensacola PD posted on social media that they were looking for Dell, he commented with the running man of smoke emojis. Needless to say, Lil Dell pulled the take K and ran the race. With the murder charge on his back, Jell jetted and camped out in Georgia for months before cops caught up with them. When they arrested him, they extradited him back to Florida. Dell posted bail immediately and went right back into making music. Dante Walker, one of the other teenagers charged in the Elizabeth Harris murder, was found not guilty by the jury. It remains to be seen what will happen to Lil Dell. It's also yet to be seen what happened with that goddamn rocket launcher that he was playing around with. This just goes to show that Florida might qualify as an alternate universe.